Hi guys, welcome back to Advanced VR Fair. I'm Ben and today I'm gonna show you in the same video how to activate the developer mode on your Quest 2 and how to download and install ADB driver. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. You can find me on my Facebook page Advanced VR Fair and if you wanna buy your favorite games with big discounts, visit Instant Gaming website using the link in the description to support the channel. Thank you. Okay, let's go and let's start with the developer mode. First of all, you have to go following the link in the description into the Oculus website to create your organization. So first you need to access with your Facebook account and then you will see this screen. Here you have to insert your organization name here and since I already created, it's already in use. So click on I understand and then click on confirm. After you confirm, you will see your organization here. At this point, turn on your Bluetooth on your phone and also your GPS and then open your Oculus app on your phone. Once the app is open, if you have more than one headset registered, be sure you click on Quest and then tap on Settings. Turn on your headset so your application will recognize it. Tap on Oculus Quest or Quest 2 and then wait for the connect message. Click again and go into more settings and then you can activate your development mode here. And it's done. You already activated the developer mode and you don't need to do anything else. Now let's check how to download and install ADB driver for your quest. If you search into Google, for example, ADB driver Quest 2 or Quest, it's the same. You will get this result for first and this is the official Oculus page where you can download the Oculus ADB driver. Or you can also follow the link in the description, which is this website. So click on I have read and agree the terms of the license. Click on download and uh, save the zip archives into your desk or wherever you wish. After that, simply extract the um, archive, for example, using WinRAR in the same folder. So go into Oculus ADB, USB driver. Now Android WinUSB.inf, then right click on it and install. Click yes on the message it appear and then operation completed and it's done. Now, every time you connect your Oculus Quest to your PC, the device will be recognized as if it's a USB storage. But remember that when you connect your Quest or Quest 2 via cable, after you connect, you have to wear your headset and hollow that connection. After that, you can come back to your PC and uh, your device will be visible as if it a uh, USB storage. And that's it. From now on, you can enter directly into your headset using your PC without any other software. Remember that these two passages are required for many and many others. Operation like, for example, installing other games or apps into your Quest or Quest 2 using SideQuest for virtual desktop and many other stuff. Well, from Ben, it's all. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. See you to the next one and see you in VR. Ciao ragazzi.